three months have passed since the Black Sand. For three months, the citizens of Blastioto have huddled in fear inside their protective prison. But now, it's time to open the gates once again. Currently, all walks of life are housed under the Obsidian Shield, or so it is called. Some are tolerant, but most tend to treat strangers as if they didn't exist. Xenophobia and general distrust developed, creating defined groups or cliques ranging from almost forgotten drow to desperate humans, even attracting some mysterious tieflings. On an early spring morning, Guard Captain Roberto Cliff receives word that a scout is being sent from the Northern Nations to provide intel as to how much aid the people of Blastiodo need to survive. Barely able to contain his excitement, he rings the town bell and begins yelling that the town is saved. That was over a month ago, and no scout has turned up. The people, having suffered enough, begin to worry that no help is being sent. After weeks of reassuring the people that everything will be okay, Roberto finally caves in and begins placing help wanted posters around the town. Unfortunately, most of the citizens are not exactly enthusiastic about leaving the protective bubble they have built for themselves. In fact, no one has come forward to volunteer. Just as Roberto is weighing his options, he is informed that three individuals have volunteered to track down the scout and bring him to Blastioto. The names are somewhat unfamiliar to the captain, but he is excited, albeit a little nervous, to meet the three that will be bringing peace of mind to this little town. Before asking to meet them, the captain takes a moment to look into a mirror and brush sand from his shoulder. He feels a small twinge of guilt as he waits for the search party to arrive. He has a feeling that the search party might be in for a difficult and daunting journey across the ever-shifting sands of Prupa Desert. Fuck butt? Oh, butt. Buck fuck. Coconut. I don't understand how this works. <laughs> yeah, that's that checks out. It's like magnets. You yeah. can make a new Patreon goal. <laughs> Get Mike a new mic. <laughs> Send Mike to school. Mike's for, <laughs> for the price of one coffee. <laughs> for just a nickel a day, you can support Mike's journey through school. Where he'll learn about elasticity. And microphones. <laughs> Shitty school. <laughs> Holy Terrible. fuck, that was funny. <laughs> well, welcome everybody. Sarah McLaughlin playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> On the wings of an angel. Welcome arms. back everybody arms. to Shifting wings of the Sands. Arms. This is the this is the oh. sequel. This is the the yes. Well, this is the actual D and D Shifting portion. Sands two. The shiftening. The shiftening. Is that two, just what it's called? Two sand. Two shifting. Two sand. <laughs> <laughs> Sand five. <laughs> you know, this is all gold, but I don't know if I can use any of it. So the bloopers. <laughs> yeah, we'll the see. shittening. Um, no, welcome back, everybody. We are done with our setup, and we are now moving forward into our D and D portion of Shifting Sands. You know, the actual fun part. Um, we have Doug. Hello. We have Mike. In combos. <laughs> yes. And we have Naomi. Hello. And before we kind of start, we're going to go ahead and introduce their characters Wait, to you guys. Oh, we also yeah. have a live audience of Alyssa and a Nate. Alyssa? No, a, li a one Alyssa yeah. and no. one Nate. A Alyssa like, and what? a Nate. <laughs> we changed it on your birth certificate. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Don't question it. Um, yeah, so everyone clap at them, I guess. Oh, no, wait, wait. Don't press that fucking button. I don't know what's going to come out. B. God damn. <laughs> well, That's for you, Nate. That actually wasn't too bad. No, it sounded like a witch cackling. Um, into that's a, a, into, into a, a camel's toe, right? <laughs> I was just saying to a tuba is what I got from that. From what I understand, but, it's near the same noise. So yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah that's that's about what, what I heard too. Um, yeah, okay, great. 
But yeah, thank you everyone for coming. Yeah, Doug. Nate, say hi to the people. You're very welcome for coming. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to go ahead and introduce who you're going to be playing? Sure. Uh, hello, everyone. And uh, I will be playing. Uh, how how much would you like me to div divulge? However much you want to. Okay, so I am a tiefling druid who goes by the name of Char Marquis, um, and uh, you you may remember me <laughs> the from <rapper>? such a <laughs> Biz Marquis. <laughs> yeah, you you may remember me from such feats as creating pigs and uh, <laughs> piggies or whatever we want to call them. Um, but yeah, I am a I am a I'm a tiefling druid. I have a purplish hue. I am a toll boy. Who is very swole, which I don't remember us talking about, but I'm swole, apparently. Um, <laughs> you gave me a description, I'm like, I'm not gonna read all of that, I'm just gonna put swole. <laughs> okay, but, uh, but yes, I am, uh, that is, that is me, I'm very, uh, I'm very interesting for a druid, uh, which people will find out, uh, as we go along. Perfect. So, Char Marquis? Correct. Are you gonna be speaking in a French accent? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oui, <Okay>. papa! <laughs> no, I'm gonna be Canadian there. <laughs> Okay. No, Close I'm enough. not going to be Canadian. <laughs> Almost. You said, you said you were a druid. I'm a druid. What circle do you belong to? I'm a, a circle of the desert druid. That tracks. Yeah. Yeah. That, that makes sense, right? Makes a lot of fucking mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, cool. So we have Char Marquis, the tiefling druid. Mike, nice. what do you got? Oh, my, I am um, a drow half elf uh, named Nine Inch Neil. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm a warlock. Hey, so yes. So we're magic boys. Slap me some magic. <laughs> Hang on. I still want to figure out the. <laughs> God damn it. Um, are we supposed to give away our backstory? You can say whatever you want to say to introduce. Just give, oh. give somebody so, some reason to give a shit. I about know. You. I know, Mister Reznor from the Trent Clan. He, I, I was his boss. The sales troll. Yes, I was his boss, and he was in my. Uh, he was my best salesman at the. Uh, Crazy Neil's wagon selling emporium because we sold wagons, um, <laughs> and uh, he disappeared. And I want my fucking salesman back, damn it! Wait, I should give my guy an accent. I want my fucking salesman back, damn it! <laughs> damn it. <laughs> and you can look forward to that voice all season. So, <clears throat> Naomi, I will be playing Eily. Some lovingly refer to me as Eily the Restless. I do not sleep. I am grumpy. I will be playing a rogue. Who is human? So pretty boring in comparison to the other two people. <laughs> <laughs> Already so. Hey, I'm I human. <laughs> uh, don't have much to say, but fuck the rich. And uh, I just, you know, I love poor people, and I want them to have better lives. And that's my main goal. Okay. <clears throat> love me them poor's. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Eat the rich. I'm so very excited. I hate them. I. You, oh, I hate them. You hate what? I hate the poor. I know you do. You gotta buy my car. <laughs> yeah, they come into my fucking wagon and pour him just to look. Hey, this ain't a museum. <laughs> you don't come in and look, you come to buy. <laughs> Fucking tire kicker. <laughs> so now that we've we've met our <laughs> intelligent cast. <laughs> tire kicker. It sounds derogatory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, That's what you call people who aren't going to buy. <laughs> the tire kicker? I've yeah. never heard that. You never heard, you worked at at t at the same place as I did. You never heard anyone. Uh -uh. Okay. Are you guys ready to pretend to be wizards? Yeah. I'm ready to watch you pretend to be wizards. Wizard. So let's all pretend to be wizards. Oh, should I mention my imp guy? If you want. I have a little demon imp named Pastrati that follows me around. He's a good servant. Pastrami? <laughs> Close. Pastrati. Oh, okay. Maserati? <laughs> Pastrami's way better, but that's fine. <laughs> well, there's a reason. There is, there is, and I, I get the reference, and it, it sucks. He's not going to listen. I don't give a fuck. He's our, he was our old boss. Yeah. <laughs> at the car you'll, dealership. You'll learn oh, a lot about Castrati, gotcha. all, I'm sure, through the, throughout this campaign. Um, Weird flex, but all right, let's go. Are you guys, are you guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's fucking pretend to be wizards. Okay, you guys are hanging out in your new hometown of Blastiodo, as you guys can kind of see on the map over here. Um, for a while, 
you've been seeing these like these help wanted signs posted all around town and up until now you've never really seen help wanted signs just because everyone's kind of always had you know a, a role to fill but now someone's actively looking for somebody who's willing to do something when you read it it basically says that guard captain roberto is looking for a group of people to go out in search of this scout who is supposed to have rendezvoused at Blastiodo to kind of exchange information about what's happened, um, just to learn more about it. But there is zero trace of where the scout could be. Um, so it, the the flyers actually uh, instructing anybody who would like to you know undertake this endeavor to go to the barracks and meet with Guard Captain Roberto. Is that where you guys would like to go? Yes. Where, where are you all coming from? Just to give you like an idea, what, what were you doing before you're I like, was, you know what, yeah, I'll go out here. I was hiding somewhere under a structure. A structure? A structure mm-hmm. of the shop shop. I was hiding under the shop shop. Okay. I was at the, uh, I, was, I, uh, uh, I was at the Sandman Outlook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just kind of enjoying the view? Yeah. <laughs> okay. As uh, <laughs> Nine Inch Neil tends to do from time to time. Yeah. Okay, Doug, what were you doing? Uh, well, I think I know where you were coming from. As I do, I was hanging out in Rombo Acres, um, talking to Wilbur, who's one of the pigs. <laughs> piggies. Um, one of the piggies, thank you, sorry. Thank you. Um, yeah, we were just having our daily chit chat about just how things are going, you know. Uh, but uh, no, I saw the sign and I was like, yeah, I need to, I need to get out of here. Like, I need to further my search in the, the Aether Flux uh, alchemy ways. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys all come from, like, your respective, uh, places, I guess. <laughs> hiding, I'd say hiding places, but one of you is hiding. Um, and you head up over to the barracks, which is kind of right by the, uh, the Sandman Outlook. Um, it's that building directly next to it. And I you guys- was already there. <laughs> I was here the whole time. <laughs> Idiots. Uh, you guys walk inside, and much like the rest of the buildings that are in Blastioto, everything is, like, a different, like- form of sand like the chairs are made of sand everything is just because that's what you guys have more or less is just sand (laughs) and that's that's it but adorning the walls there's a whole bunch of different like weaponry um behind some like glass cases and you kind of assume they're a little bit more important and you guys are just kind of you're sitting around in this waiting room and um you see a a guard walk in and he looks at the three of you and he kind of says oh you you must be here for uh, uh, Captain Roberto, right? You got damn right. I Absolutely. Am. Okay. Uh, g- give me, give me one second. I think he's busy with something, but I'll, I'll tell him to the- hurry it up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Be nice. Okay. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. I'm on the clock. I mean, he is a drow, so like we have to give him the benefit of the doubt here. No. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me. I'll, I'll get I'll you, boss. Captain. Yes. You did I'll, nothing I'll, wrong. I'll, I'll go right now. I'll go right now. I'll go right now. And he like kind of nervously like scampers out of the room um and he goes into what you assume is captain roberto's office and you hear some conversation the door opens back up and you see this uh this bronze dragonborn wearing like a red cloak um he's got this like yellowish brass armor uh, on his back he's got a shield and a spear and he he walks up to and he looks at the three of you and he goes oh he- hello can i can i help you I walk up to him and I'm like, can I touch your scales? Oh, no, please don't. Please don't. I don't see many dragonborns and you are a specimen. <laughs> oh, well, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> you but I, I, I don't, I just, I'm really not comfortable being touched. I'm so sorry. That's um, fair. That's fair. Are you, are you here in response of the, uh, um, the, the help wanted posters? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, perfect. What, what are your names? I'm, I'm Captain Roberto. Hello, Roberto. Hi, I'm Sh- I'm Char. Char? Yes. Okay, nice to meet you, Char. My name's Neil. Uh, oh, Neil. Neil. Nice to meet you, Neil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm Eileen. Eileen. Nice. Okay, very, very nice to meet the three of you. Um, I, I'm sorry. Uh, would you guys please follow me into into my office and we can talk a little bit more privately? <sighs> yeah. yeah. Show What's with the those way? swords in the lock over there? Oh, well. Okay. The um, uh, I don't know if I should be talking about that. Um, well, this sword over here, and he points to one that's, like, over the, uh, the sand couch that you guys were kind of chilling on, um, and he goes, this, this, this sword actually belonged to, uh, one of the, um, uh, the, the, the militia from, from where my family came, um, outside of Prupa. And you notice, he gets, like, real, like, 
jittery like when he starts talking about this and he's like um but the rest of these are just kind of relics i don't know Do how guys, much for the lot how how much yeah oh i never would sell these mm. i i'm sorry i can't i, ju- I just mm-hmm. can't do you guys want to talk about the reason you're here like i i mean if we want to make deals I got 50 we can gold i can get for just you. shut up and mm. let him talk you know what now that Neil. is interesting I I'll think about it. how about how, I'll think about it over the course of our conversation mm. and then and maybe mm. okay and he like he turns around he like looks at you a little bit nervously and like he just seems super awkward and very unable to like deal with groups of people and he turns around and he walks back into his office and he closes the doors and then reopens them and he's like oh, I'm so sorry I forgot you guys were following me just please come in you guys follow him in and you sit uh the the chairs he has pulled up behind his sand desk and uh he sits you guys down he says okay so so you guys know about the scout that was supposed to be here right i suppose so i saw a a, a thing about it yeah okay he's I, been gone for more than a month right he he's he has not shown up yet and it's it's been almost a month since he was supposed to arrive and i'm starting to get worried that help isn't coming and we really don't know what to do because we're, I, we've kind of created this, this prison for ourselves. And we don't, we, we can't, we're all scared to get out of here. And we just, we need someone to help, help us. And we need to go find the scout. I would go, but that would leave this to f- honestly fall to ruins because of all the xenophobia that's going on. People don't want to talk to each other anymore. It's just, it's, it's a nightmare right now. So I could really use three people to go find the scout and bring him back to me. Is that something that you guys would be willing to do? Does I'm, Scout have a name? Yes, he does. But unfortunately, the only thing they gave us was uh, the fact that he'd be carrying a, a sigil of the, uh, the nation of Stricketith to the north. Is his name Resnor? His name is not Resnor, I don't think. Damn. Let the man talk, man. Um, just take a deep breath just, and we'll, just... We'll, we'll get there. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Um, no, it's... He's, he's carrying the sigil, and he's got uh, some instructions for us, but essentially he's supposed to be offering us aid, and we can't find him. Is this something you guys would be interested in, in helping us out with? Oh, this should be super easy. Absolutely. I'll help if you help me. Oh, okay. What's, what, do, what do you have in mind? I'm I mean, I'm obviously a... prepared to compensate each of you. I'm handsomely. looking for a man named Reznor. That's all I care about. Reznor. That you can help that, me find him. That, you know, that rings a well. bell. Isn't that the guy we uh we didn't let buy the uh the uh you know the slodge? You know what? I think are you talking about the guy that tried to put all of the businesses here in town out of business? That does sound like him. I was on the outskirt of town. I did, I wasn't like I didn't follow his business opportunities. Okay, earlier, but that sounds like a move of his. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I think I remember us voting against him buying the slodge. Yeah, that sounds like oh, Rezzy. Okay, yeah, you know what? Now that you say that, it, it, it does ring a bell. Um, I, I couldn't tell you, you know, if, if he's around anymore. Like, are you, I'm guessing you're looking for him based on how many times you brought him up in this conversation. <laughs> Just, you, yep, yep. Okay, uh, well, if I, if I hear anything, I can let you know, but I can't, I don't know anything, so. Well, we're doing this little job for you. If you could look more into that, that'd be great. I'll, I'll drop a line. Okay. I'll 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 make sure you're informed. Um but if you guys if you guys need to know, um he's supposed to be entering the desert from the uh, the Dune Collette Pass, way way up north. Um he was supposed to meet a reception party halfway between there and the pillar, but the party said he just didn't show up. So I don't I don't know what to do aside from find some people who can help me find this this scout. Well, the desert is absolutely my specialty, so uh, it, it shouldn't be an issue. I, I should be able to find him in, you know, maybe a week or so. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. I, I like I like the confidence. Are the rest of you okay with the... 100% okay. in for... Yeah, I could... Yeah, we could... <sighs> Do we want to talk about compensation? Because I'm sure you're not doing this for free. I want them swords. Uh, oh. I'm, not, I'm not huge on the, you know, you know riches of the world but uh i am uh, a little strapped for cash so yeah same okay okay um well how's this sound if you find and bring back the scout and proved and you can prove that it is the scout aka the sigil he's carrying i will give each of you 100 gold i want that sword 
okay, we can. How about this? Not the not which sword. But let's, which sword do you I want? I want your family sword. <sighs> That's a nice piece of uh, uh, craftsmanship there. I I got a good eye for some good taste, so I want that. I don't. I don't. I don't think I can part with that. I'm I'm sorry. I just I can't. You're so sure about that one. Listen, I'm, l- listen, my guy. Listen. I'm a roll. <laughs> okay. What do you What are you What are you trying to do? Uh, I'm gonna persuade him. Uh, to uh, let's hear your shtick, and then I'll then we'll see what your roll is. Okay. I'll let you know if it. Listen, my guy. It's obvious you ain't using the damn sword. You got locked up in a fucking class box. It Dis- might have sentimental d- value. D- d- yeah. Don't you want someone to use it? N- no. It's just wasting its life away in a cage. What's well, being preserved in a cage. Preserved for what? It's a it's an heirloom. Heirloom schmerloom, it's a sword. Okay. You use it for cut. Go ahead and uh yeah, roll with advantage. Which one is it? A D twenty? So yeah, it's D twenty, and then just add your persuasion modifier. And then you're gonna roll twice and take the higher roll. First roll of the game. Thirteen. Plus my five, so eighteen. Eighteen. How and he, he so he he kind of looks down and he looks like he's kind of thinking over a few things and like he shakes his head back and forth and he looks a little bit dejected but he looks at you and he says you know if this if finding the scout can be the key to us actually surviving this sure you 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 can take my family sword but you have to bring him back alive and it, and you have to bring the sigil what's the sigil look like again and so he he actually looks kind of puzzled at uh, this question. And he goes, you know, I, I kind of thought I would just know it when I see it. I mean, we've been sealed off here for hundreds of years. I, I, don't know what, I don't know what it looks like. I'm so sorry. But it won't look like anything from here. And that I'm sure of. That's really all he can tell you. All right, fine. Okay. Fine. Um, okay, so as you guys kind of come to terms with what he's asking of you, uh, he looks around and he kind of... He extends, like, a, a nervous hand um, to shake each of yours. Yeah, I'll shake your hand. Okay. Put her there, my guy. This I, is a... This is, a, a, th- this, this is legit. Uh, this do you, like, spit deal. in your hand? Yeah. <laughs> no, and I don't shake his hand. I just kind of, like, awkwardly wave. Back, and I'm he, like, I back up a little bit, and I just wave a little bit and kind of look down in the way. No, he, like, he looks, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I'm, I'm, sorry. Just, I'm just weird. It's fine. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, but now we've... So we've come to an agreement, yes? Yeah. Absolutely. Do you guys so <clears throat> the place I would recommend you guys looking is way 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 up north. Um there there was or is, we're not really sure because again, bubble. Uh we there was a town named uh Takata and it's it was the closest point to where he could have come in. If it were me looking, I would look there, but honestly, I have no idea where where he could be. Um it's it's kind of a hike. I would absolutely recommend stopping around town, maybe picking up some supplies for some desert travel. Oh, also, we're going to be cracking open this dome to let you guys out. And this is the first, this is the first time we've done it in a while. You might draw a bit of a crowd. We, we're not sure. Um, and we, we're not too sure how everyone feels about this. So just like kind of like try not to say anything too wild and out there. Otherwise, you'll stir people into kind of a tizzy about it. But definitely stop by some of the shops. Make sure you have enough to go. Do you guys need any help on on getting there? Like, you know, do you know what you're doing? I got my. We can just take one of my wagons. It's fine. You you have a wagon? I have a franchise of wagon dealerships. Yeah. That okay. Okay. nine inch nails, wagon and wheels. It's right there. Where do you keep the wagons? I haven't seen any wagons around. I kind of just build them as I sell them. Oh, okay. Well, if you if you have transportation, perfect. Yeah, I got a couple. I have people I haven't picked up. Yeah. And to I, be fair, I prefer to just turn into a camel. To so, travel. So you can carry the wagon then. Uh, no. Where does I will this not be leave me? That. I can't do any of that shit. <laughs> you can get on the wagon. You, you, can, you can ride on my back if <laughs> okay. I'm a camel. Okay, that's... so I have a couple options. That's fine. Preferably wagon, though. Yeah. yeah. I'll, hey, I'll get my guide. Get, are ride. you like, are you a two hump? Are you one hump? <laughs> what do you got? You choose. Get the wagon. <laughs> it depends on the day. Your, your choice. I, I got as many humps as you need. <laughs> so, Mike, as you, as, you, as you clap like that and, and yell for Castrati, like this, this like purplish flame, like tiny, like, I, like shot glass sized, comes up from the ground and you see this, this, little, this little imp appear. And, uh, and he looks at you and he goes, huh? 
What? What do you want me to do? <laughs> and you should talk about chemtrails. Uh, <laughs> oh, chemtrails? Oh, I, I can go off all day on that. I need you to go get the, uh, uh, open up the dealership real quick so I can get a wagon from the back. Oh, uh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, I'll meet you there. And you see him, like, sigh and, like, look dejected, and he's, like, he he kind of, like, hops off, but he's just grumbling the whole time, just like, fucking wagon dealer, fucking What was that? <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm just going to get the wagons. Well, and he, 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 like, shoots out of the room, and, and he is gone. Um, so hard to have, find good hope these days, am I right, guys? Roberto kind of looks at you and is like, what, 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 what was that? That's my employee. It's, I've, it's n- I've never, is, what, it, okay. Castrati. I have so many questions. Um, do you do you guys know where in town to go? I mean, you clearly have a handle on where the wagons are, but do you do you need any? It's like do you need supplies? Uh, yeah, probably. I might be stopping by the uh, shop shop. Okay, yeah, perfect. I was gonna, I was, I was going to direct you guys to uh, either uh, the shop shop, which is a very prestigious, and like this is this is our our town's shop, and then across the street you also have the uh, the eight inch nail. Eight inch nail, you say? Yeah. Wait, is that that is that uh, Reznor's that you're talking about? Well, you know, it was, but mm. I haven't seen him in a, in a while. I'm gonna stop by there, see what I can find. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I feel like I'm good. I don't feel like I need anything. Okay, but and... I can just hang around with somebody. Mm. Sure, absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, you guys seem like you know what you're doing. I uh, thank you guys so much for for stepping up to this. Um, just come find me when you guys find the. Uh, I will. I'll be, scout, back. Yeah. I'll be back for them swords. Don't you worry. Okay, I, of course. I'm I, definitely not going with Neil. I'll that. go with Char. It's fine. So, does Neil, like, pull out, like, paperwork? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, tell me what that, what that like, just give me a rundown it on lo- that. It's, it's just like buying a car. It's paperwork <laughs> like that, only it's just, like, very, very, like, long, boring, like, legal jargon all about how you're agreeing to give me this sword. Okay. And it's, okay, and it's just, like, pages on it. Yeah, it's, like, large amount it's of like pages. It's, like, 50 pages just saying <laughs> you'll give me sword, basically. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you, you have him sign that, and he, like, he keeps, like, side-eyeing you as he's doing, like, this, this is, I've never done this before. This is fucking weird. Um, but little you get through it. Know, little does he know, if he doesn't give me them swords, <laughs> I own his house now. <laughs> Um, and yeah, with that, he looks and he says, all right, well, I mean, with that, you guys seem like you know what you're doing. Just if you, if you're ready to head out, head up to the, uh, the Sandman Overlook and we'll, uh, we'll crack the gate for you if you need. Um, I will say, I heard you guys talking about using like a a camel drawn (laughs) wagon. Um, that's, that's actually pretty, uh, pretty non-conventional around here. Um, it, if it gets the job done, cool. But, uh. Most people get around with with skiffs. Um, do you, are you guys familiar with 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 that mode of transportation? I know we have a, a lockdown bubble here, but anything? Um, uh, I mean, no, not I'm really not. at all. People just kind of come with whatever animal they have to take the wagon away. So I've probably seen a skiff. Don't you, know what it is though. So it these skiffs. It's commonly uh, known around here that the the the, the high intensity winds are are very good. For helping you get across the desert, but you have to build something to kind of catch it. And most of these skiffs are just like scraps put together that catch the. It's almost think like a. Do you guys know what water is? I heard of I've it. Heard of it. <laughs> it's, I mean, I've only ever heard of it, but it's it, apparently uh, there are these these big vessels that just sit on top of it and use the wind to pull them around, and that's kind of what happens here. So if if you guys would like. We do have a bunch of garbage outside, just kind of sitting around. If you're talented enough, you can build one of those. If not, there's always the walking option. I mean, who knows? You guys, you guys might be fine. Well, if he has a, an animal that can, you know, pull his wagon, uh, I can fly, so I don't really care. That'd be you, <laughs> camel man. I can uh, walk. I can, I'd I, rather. I can be a vulture if I want to. So. Mm. I'm probably just gonna fly alongside the wagon if you don't, you know, if you got an animal to pull it, because I'm not pulling it. I refuse. <laughs> You're not a beast of burden? No. Okay. No. <laughs> I, do, I do this for my own gain, not for you. The wagon sounds good to me. I like wagon. I'll see what if I could find. Maybe a horse or something. Okay, well. Huh. Peasant. Alright, I guess our, our business here is done. And he, like, uh, 
and he literally just doesn't acknowledge you guys anymore. He just kind of goes down and he just turns around. <laughs> yeah, he just, <laughs> just turns just around and the looks wall. at the wall. No, <laughs> he uh, he just like he puts his head down and he starts to get buried in some work that's sitting on his paper or on his desk. And uh, at, like after a couple of seconds, he like looks up and he's like, "Oh, you guys are still here?" No, I'm like, I'm good. And like, he's just like super fucking awkward about it. I'm just um, staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm just going to go to the 8-inch nail. Okay. I'm going to the shop shop. And I'm going to go with Char. Char. Okay. Uh, so let's go. Let's tackle the 8-inch nail first. Um, so 9-inch. I'm just calling you Neil. That's fair. Is that fine? <laughs> okay. Neil. I prefer N N N wait. N N N? N N N, yeah. No, it's N I N. N I N, yes, thank you. Just like the band. Yes. Nin. Is that your nickname? Yes. Ninny. Ninny. Neil's fine. Um so Neil, you uh you kinda head out and you you walk over the you walk the very familiar path back over to the eight inch nail, which is one of the uh the shops under your ownership. Um but not so much your patronage, just because you are missing the one person that you put in charge there. So you uh, you open up the doors, and it's this shop is like a very very hastily built shop. Like it's it's made of scrap, just whatever you can find, and it's it's propped up, and it it does it does not fit the community at all. Which is all these like nice smooth even cornered sandstone buildings, um, and you walk in and you just see like wall or uh floor to ceiling wall to wall you see glass vials with a bunch of strange liquid in it um you see different like nuts and bolts and you see different kind of repair equipment um and you behind the front desk you see this very very like small troll and as somebody who kind of grew up with trolls you kind of recognize her to be about 7 or 8 years old and she seems to be the only person here. What? Who the fuck are you? And so, like, she's buried in her in her work. She's trying to like write stuff down in this log book, and then you like startle her. She's like, "Oh, oh my god!" Uh, but I'm, I'm, oh, are you, are you Neil? Yeah, who the fuck are you? Oh my god, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, don't fire me, please, don't fire me. Um, well, w- welcome to the Eight Inch Nail. We have everything that you could possibly need for life in the desert, repair of vehicles, whatever. Is it? Was that okay? I. Are you here alone? And she like like looks around. She's like, are you? You're? Are you not? Are you not Nine Inch Neil? No, I am. Okay. Uh. Do you not remember me? Okay, that's that's fine. She like looks super dejected and like upset, and she goes, "Well, we, you know what? What can I help you with? We have all of these things for what's, sale." What's your name? Oh, my my name is Maraqueen. 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 No, I don't know. Not ringing a bell. I'm no, sorry. Nothing. Kid, okay, I well, kid, I've done a lot of partying in my day. If I came across <laughs> you a couple years back, that might explain it. So, so what can I help you with? I'm looking for your boss. I'm looking for Reznor. See, he. I thought you knew. And she like looks around. And she starts like trembling. She's like, "Well, he's gone. Gone where? We're in a dome. Uh, he's gone. Son of a bitch. He's not. He's not here. I haven't seen him in months. I've been here by months. myself. Oh god. You told me to shadow him, and then just didn't come back. Kid, my life's a blur since last week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You love you. I've been here for three months. Three months. My god. I gotta lay off the sauce. Plus self blast. So can I help you? Like what? And she starts to get like super annoyed. But for a seven-year-old, you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> hey, okay, calm down. I'm your boss. Remember? Yeah, right, right, right. But so, what do you, what do you need? Well, I need Nora Resnors. Do you have any idea where he could go? No, no, no. But, okay. Well, then I need some supplies. I'm going out. Okay, uh, I have some of those. I need a couple things from you. I need. Do you have any food here? Ah, uh, no, no food. Ah, uh, fucking Christ. Okay. Um, I need. I need some. Uh, what do they call them? Swifts? Swafts? Swells? I don't, I don't know what you're saying. That sandy so, thing that you fly on the sand with. Oh, the, you, are you asking me if we sell a full skiff not here out this, of this, this not shop? Not the full. Did you hear that come out of my mouth? No, that's, you're right. That's, I mean, you're right. Just I'm in so case, sorry. I need some stuff for repairs for that. I do have some repairs for, for skiffs. Yeah, are you looking for, like, mechanical or electrical? 
the fuck's electricity? <laughs> so mechanical then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got. How every, did I know the word electricity? <laughs> I've got. I have hull patches. I've got boom extensions. I've got uh, a, a second navigation console. Like, what? What do you? What? What do you need? Give me the navigation console. Okay. And then the patchwork too. Okay, and and that's it. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for right now. Okay, you're uh with the navigation console and the, and the patchwork, your total today is gonna come to about a thousand gold. <laughs> you're funny, kid. I like your I like your I know, I, th- I think so yeah. too. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna take this and go. And she's like, no, no. It, 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 I remember who who signs your check here. I also remember you telling me to not let anyone ever steal from me, or show me who's boss. And you're doing both of those right now. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your moxie. <laughs> All right, fine. How about I you put it on my tab, what? and then I come back after and I'll pay you. What's a what's a tab? You give it to me now. I pay you at the end of the month. That just sounds like stealing. With extra steps. With yeah. extra much, many extra steps. All right, kid. How about this? You give it to me on my tab because I rolled a nineteen. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to do? Uh, walk per- out of here without paying. Persuade her. <laughs> yeah, to... persuade her into giving me my shit. All right, I guess I'm rolling though. So she like she looks very nervously. It looks like she's about to fucking cry because she knows that you told her like her specific job duties, and you are now asking her to break them. And she says, "Okay, okay, you know what? Are you you're bringing something to balance this out, right? Because like I'll get in trouble with you if I don't if this doesn't happen, and I know you're gonna come back and yell at me." How about this, kid? I have a wand on me. A what? A what? A wand. And she like looks at you and like nods and smiles like wand. Oh, wand. <laughs> like, and then she's like, so I, well, I don't no, know. So I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna whip it out and, and be like, I'm whip out my wand. Sir, put it away. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Wendy's. <laughs> All right, kid. You see this? It might just look like a dumb little stick to you, but this is a very powerful magical weapon. Oh, oh. I'm How give- much is it worth? I'd be considering you do magic with it quite a bit. And but I, if I don't? I've got to teach you something. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just do like a small little magic trick with it. i just make like the tip of it light up. Do you have something to make that happen? Um, I have. Oh, you uh, do? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot the name of it. Dancing lights. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So I, I use that. Thank you. Um, just just kind of like to <laughs> show off. you yeah, said. Show off a flare with the wand mm-hmm. to get her all like, whoa, that's awesome. Uh. Roll deception. Deception. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. With a uh, fifteen, she like she looks she looks just super distressed, and she like kind of looks at the floor a little bit, and like looks up at you, and you you've just like how are like what's your so, what is your face doing right well, now? Here, this is this, this is the this is what I'm trying trying to do. Okay. But, so, so you see that kid in that cool? Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's 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 cool. This is yours. What? Really? Keep it and let me take this stuff. It's a trade. Oh, yes, it's a trade. It's a bribe. It's just, no, no, no. <laughs> it's a down I know, payment. I, I got it. I it's get, a no, down yeah. payment to prove that I will come back and give you the money that it will just go right and back into my fucking pocket because it's my fucking shop. And she looks at you and goes, right, right. And she like winks and she's like, oh, we're doing, okay, I get what you're saying. Sure, whatever. You can't, <laughs> just, we can't. Are we good then? Are we squared? If you... Okay, as long as, and she asks for the, she like holds her hand up, she was like, as long as I can do whatever you just did. It takes practice, you're gonna have to practice. Can you show me real quick? I don't got time, I gotta go, kid. Okay, just th- swish and back. flick, swish and flick. <laughs> Thank, that's all I wanted you to say. <laughs> that's all I wanted you to do. She's like, you know what? Okay, fine, give me, give me the wand, I'll give you the stuff. Alright, cool, cool. And she like looks around, like she's like. Ain't no cameras in here. <laughs> she's like, are you, are you sure? Yeah, what's a camera? <laughs> She's like, actually, I don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> um, and she's like, okay, and gives you the this navigation system, which is like the size of an oil drum, <laughs> um, and then this repair pack, which easily weighs like fifty to sixty pounds while wearing it on your back. She's like, okay, here, here. Um, I didn't think this one through. <laughs> oh, what's what's wrong? I need to get this out of here somehow. Uh, yeah, you do. Give me a second here, kid. I'm thinking. Okay. And once again, you see this purple flame kind of shoot up from the ground, and he looks up at you. He goes, what now? How's it going with the wagons? Oh, they're done. Where are they? 
ah, and just kind of, he kind of looks at you again, points in like a dirt towards the back of the shop. All right, cool. Thank you. I'm just going to lug it back to the wagon. Okay. Uh, uh, roll strength for okay. me. <laughs> With Castrati's help, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where is my Stragnol? It's probably not great. An eight. Okay. Um, so this, uh, so Maraqueen kind of like watches you like, ha- like put the whole bundle of these fucking repair items for skiffs on your back and then also start lugging this giant navigation system out of, out of the shop. And you're just like tearing the floor up, <laughs> and it's 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 working. But like you are absolutely Castrati, put your back into destroying. It. And he <laughs> he fucking runs over and like just puts his two tiny little demon hands on there and starts pulling. And you just it doesn't do. Hey Marigold, anything, but, how will you come give me a hand? But and she she are you asking her for help? Yeah. And she's like, oh, I, I I was told not to handle merchandise after it being sold. I just I can't. I'm sorry. It's not sold. Remember? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, and she, like, winks and then literally turns around and, like, walks into the back room Dad. to do some paperwork. <laughs> I love that kid. <laughs> that kid's going places. <laughs> uh, but no, you do manage to get it out of the shop. You destroyed the front end of it, but yes. You get it outside, you see these wagons that are, are chilling, and I'm guessing you just drag them over there. Yeah. Shop shop. Oh, so we ha- uh, can I also, I'm going to make my way to the shop shop after I put him in the wagon. Okay. To meet up with these guys. That's fine. Um, so after you're all, you're all done loading it up, you... Stroll on into the shop shop, and you see both Eileen and Char. Guys, mm-hmm. guys, I got some really great stuff from from the the Eight Inch Nails shop. What'd so you get? I got some navigation stuff to help out, and some like patchwork stuff if anything cool, breaks cool, down. Cool, 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 cool. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Did you steal it? No. Technically, it's mine to begin with. I own that shop. No, no, I, I, <laughs> I was gonna say roll insight, but then he admitted to it, so. <laughs> <laughs> So never mind. You didn't know you owned the shop, honey. My mind's blank. Do not, <laughs> do not call me, honey. I will punch I, you in the face. I, 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 I'll help her. Oh, hey, oh, that oh, sounds fun. Hey, oh, let's all take it easy. We're all friends, right? Hey, no. Uh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, we are friends. Uh, can you can you borrow me something real quick? Yeah. What's up? You got like fifty gold. Yeah. What do you need? Uh, I just I'm trying to buy some stuff. What do you need? What are you buying? I, I'm not what sure. Are you buying? Yet. <laughs> I just is. I don't have any money, so I was gonna I I, I was just gonna ask if you could you know give me fifty gold. Are you paying me back? Uh, I mean I'll try. Yeah. You try or you will. I'm gonna try. <sighs> just let him do it. Hey, this like, is for all of us, I guess. I we mean, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Just okay, go okay, get what cool. you need. I got the gold. It's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, hey, hey, shopkeep. Um, what wh- where did you got? Uh, so as you say that, you guys have kind of been here, just kind of browsing. Um, but at the, uh, the front, much like the eight inch nail, uh, you see the shopkeep and it's this kind of like, it's this taller human man. He, he's just fucking built. Like he's huge. He looks like he'd almost be a half orc, but you're not a hundred percent sure. Um, and he's just kind of like messing around with something in the back and he turns over and he looks at you and goes, Oh, but what? Oh, uh, I was just curious. Like what, what, what all, what uh, do you have in your shop? Like what can I, you know? supplies. Oh, good. Yeah, that's that's Why what I'm looking for. Why is everyone here so anxious? What do you, what do you need? Uh well, uh, what, do you have any like potions? You got any armor? What do, what do you, what, what do you sell oh, here? It's uh, um, like equipment, like um, and he like he like fumbles over his words a bit. You guys are noticing that like a, a lot of people here just don't have a handle on language. It's very strange. Um, but eventually he kind of pipes because you know we have like. Traveling supplies, um, like weapons, armor, water, get rations. I mean, what what do you what do you need? Uh, I'm I'm kind of, I'm kind of just browsing right now. I have a good amount of things. I'm just looking to maybe. You got any good potions? Actually, we have a few, but that's honestly next door. Which I hate to drive people away. Like, what what kind of potions are you looking for? Uh, just a few healing potions. Oh yeah, no, I, yeah, we have those. What 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 what, uh, what do they cost? Uh, each one's about a hundred gold. Oh god! Uh, hold on, hold on. What? I got, I got, I got this. My guy, I got this. My guy. How about we make it a cool twenty-five? No. Mm. Now here's the thing. I'm gonna roll persuasion. Go ahead and make your shtick first, but yeah. Here's the thing, kid. I see there's a lot of dust on these bottles, meaning that they're not selling. Would you rather make no money or some money? Because obviously these aren't flying off the shelves. How about giving us a discount that way you actually make some sort of profit? 
Well, I mean, everybody in town kind of comes to me, so I oh, everyone, don't really need to. Everyone in town needs these health potions here? The ones that, again, are dusty and look like they have not been off the shelf? I can see the yes. dust ring around them. They haven't been moved. Okay, that's thankfully that's on the outside of the bottle, and it really won't affect what's inside. But so I don't really, I don't, been moved. I don't, I what, what is it? What, what do you, what are you doing? Twenty five gold. Come on, I got it right in my hand, right here. This okay, is for you. I'll take it. Yeah, for the for the potion. Oh, no, I'll just take it. No, 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 no for the health potion. Oh, no, hundred gold. But, but I'm persuading you. <laughs> you are. <laughs> go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> And see how well you are persuading. I'm a persuader. That's what I do. It really is. <laughs> Thirteen. And uh, like he he just looks at you like with this fucking stonewall face, and it's just like no hundred. Uh, all right, look, look, we got fifty. That's nice. Damn it. <laughs> mm, mm, hold on, idea. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to use a spell. Okay. Um, I want to use... This is quick. <laughs> <laughs> I want to use Mirror Illusion. Um, and make I it look I like I have going. 100 gold. Okay, so you want to make the illusion of 100 gold. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, can I... <laughs> can I assist him in his role to give him advantage? Yeah, what are you doing? I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy to make it sound like way more gold is hitting the counter. Okay, roll deception with advantage. Deception. Disgrace. <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. Uh, you don't, roll to see if you crit, but like, you're fine. Well, I did, it was a 17 plus my 5. Well, so, uh, advantage. advantage is the oh, second roll. Oh, oh. Yeah. Take the higher. It's an 18. So, so higher. Yeah. Um, I forgot I yeah, had advantage. I, I don't usually share the, the behind the screen, but uh, he got a 3 total. So... <laughs> 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 he goes, okay, you know, you're, you're right, I do need to sell these, but, like, is, is there, how much gold are you looking for, for, to get this for? Hang on, hang on, how much, wait, well, so, you, you said 25, I said 25, I was gonna get two potions, I could, you're looking for two potions, I can give you two, I can give you two for a hundred, that's about it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I we, can, we can cut that. Yeah. And it looks like I have a hundred because of my thing. Mm -hmm. So, I said, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Here and he he goes. He turns around. and He grabs two of these very fucking dusty mm -hmm. glass bottles full of this red liquid. Can you wipe those off for me, kid? And he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, sure." Mm -hmm. And he takes like a, a rag to it and thank you. Cleans it up for you. It looks real nice now. Uh, puts it down on the counter and he goes, "Okay, that'll be that's that's a hundred gold." I'm gonna set this gold right here on the desk. Okay. Don't touch it till I leave. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, that's weird, but uh, you see me like just kind of do like a little, like a little snap of the finger. And okay. You see, just like you hear the coins just sound way more than there are there. Okay. Uh, yeah. And he he looks. He goes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this this looks looks like it's here. I mean, do you guys need anything else? I'm no, that's good. good. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, let's, uh, uh, let's get to the did, wagon. Did you need anything? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm just chilling. I don't have any money. <laughs> yeah, no, let's absolutely leave then. Okay. Yes. And so you guys walk out. I'm I'm guessing you're heading to the wagon. You yeah. guys have somewhere else you want to stop by first. We need to get out of here right now. I'm just yeah, let's, let's just leave. We got it. We got it. For sure. Get okay. far away from this shop because that money, you can't touch it. <laughs> it's just an Im image. <laughs> we got to so, go. <laughs> so as you guys kind of load up into the wagon, how is how is this wagon working? Let's, how is this happening? I had a horse. No. No, at the, <laughs> at, the, at, the wagon, at the wagon place. I mentioned that earlier. There's it, horses over there, too. You have, you have wagons and horses. Yeah. Typically, people come with their own animal, but I have my own horse, and and uh, Castrati brought the wagon and the horse. You know what? I'm I'm gonna actually suggest something a little bit better. Okay, Castrati is the horse. Okay, I like that too. Um, yeah, I don't think he can turn anything big. Um, the biggest thing you can turn I mean, you into don't, is it doesn't have to be big. Like, <laughs> it would be funny if he couldn't like control. <laughs> he's just like, turning into different uh, shit. He, he could be an incredibly <laughs> strong as long as he's, mo he's moving in one direction. Yes. As soon as that has to change, it's like fucked. Okay, you so do that. He's a little. Uh, he's a little. He's a lizard. He's a lizard. Oh okay. God. So this <laughs> pulling, <laughs> pulling a giant ass. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're like they're like in the wheels, yeah. just sort of <laughs> hamster wheeling it. Uh, okay, yeah. So <laughs> here's the visual. You guys, I'm guessing, uh, you said you're in the wagon, yeah, right? Yeah, because fuck walking. Wagon, 
as well. Mm -hmm. I am wild shifting into a, a vulture. Okay. Ski! See, you would, make sure you mark that on your fucking thing. Yep. Okay. Um, so you're, you're shifting to a vulture. Castrati Cast has turned himself into a fucking desert-dwelling salamander strong, or some shit. Super strong lizard. Yes, and he is at... <laughs> he's literally... Like, no one can even see him. It's just... <laughs> he has this tether attached to him that's attached to the wagon, and he's just at the front. Um, and you guys all get in. Is there, like, a, a command word or something to, like, get him to, to go? It's time to feel the kneel. Get him going! <laughs> Wait, what are you... What, what's happening? We're on the wagon. We're going. But how are we moving? The lizard. <laughs> There's a lizard? Slowest wagon we ever. We were just talking about I thought, about you couldn't see the li lizard. I thought I couldn't see the lizard. You can't. So, you guys kind of load up into the wagon. Um, Castrati's at the fucking helm. <laughs> attached, and he starts pulling, and it's, it's surprisingly, like, quick. Like, the takeoff is, it's, it's quick. He's, He's one of them lizards that, like, get up on their hind legs and run. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so yeah, Castrati, he starts pulling, uh, and he starts uh, walking you guys away over to the Sandman Outlook, and behind you, you can kind of hear, like, this very deep, manic screaming <laughs> as <laughs> uh, the shopkeep, shopkeep of the shop shop realizes that the money that was just deposited on his desk is not tangible. That fucking all. And uh, you see him kind of come running out, but uh, you guys are kind of away at this point. And he's pulling like a throwing the hat on the floor. Yeah, that day, that day, that day. <laughs> or, yeah he, he stole my gold and my potion. He walks out and he's just <laughs> upset because he knows he's been fucking had. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you guys start you guys start walking over or not walking, uh, riding this wagon over to the Sandman Outlook. And when you get there, you see uh, Guard Captain Roberto. Um, surrounded by what you assume to be, like, his guard, and they're all kind of, like, staring at this, like, this section of wall right next to the Sandman Outlook. And as you guys kind of pull up, you see them all kind of shuffle and fall into formation, and Guard Captain Roberto comes out and says, like, are you, are you, are, are, are you guys ready? Uh, Sorry, are I, you ready? I, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, and I, yeah. I haven't, I haven't shapeshifted until we actually start leaving. So, I'm so not, you're I'm, still in your... I'm still... Tiefling for yeah, him. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. So, are, are the three of you are, you? are you guys ready to go? Are Absolutely. Guys, so, that was, that was yeah. fast. Yeah. Well, we're fast people. All right. You yeah. guys. You looked like you were sprinting over here. Is, is everything okay? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's well, all, let's let's could, just let's just get out of here. Yeah. Hey, if, we, if we could leave like now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, now is best. We just really want to go on this adventure. Okay, I, I'm. I love to see this in in in, in enthusiasm and, and stuff, and it's awesome. Okay, and he like he turns around and he he whistles, and the whole guard next to him, like in formation, walks up to this wall, and they begin basically like pounding a crack into the side of this dome, and as this crack starts to form, um. It travels up the side, and you see kind of, like, light come in from this crack, and they pry, they pry, they pry, and eventually, light fucking floods in through this open hole in this black dome. Um, this green energy is kind of crackling all around the inside of it, and Roberto kind of looks over at you guys, and he says, Yeah, this... If you guys want, like, this is the first time this has been open in a while, and, like, he's constantly, like, he's, like, looking over his shoulder back out, because he's not sure what's going to come through. He goes, like, please, you know, go, go on, go find the scout for us, and when you come back, we will, we will happily throw you this, this, this reception party, and, like, you guys are incredible for doing this. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, yeah, no, don't, don't, don't worry about it. No problem, no problem. Yeah, it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah, we're just, uh, you know, ready happy to, go. to help. Uh, ready to can go. we leave now? Yeah, we're ready yeah, to go. Like the, door, the door's out. open. Let's right, get it on. Time to feel the kneel, baby. Let's go. So you, you kind of shoot out of this dome, and as soon as you get outside, you are hit with this blinding fucking light. You are hit with this scorching heat. Um, and the only thing that you guys really know at this point is you have to head to Takata. Terracotta? Yep.
Okay. Okay, so so what are you guys doing? Where are you going? Well, uh, as you know, being in vulture form, I'm going to be on a constant lookout okay. uh, while we're traveling. So I'll be kind of circling the the wagon as we go. Um, I have I have keen sight and smell, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna I'm I'm, I'm gonna look out for us. Okay. I am sweltering, and I'm just <laughs> it's so hot. I can't breathe. Uh, hold on. I think I got something here. Hold on. What? Um, what? 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 Well, I bought some uh, patch kits from uh, uh, Eight Inch Neil, uh, but it co- comes with some tough, <laughs> eight, or eight, inch, inch, eight Inch Nail, not Eight Inch Neil. I'm Nine Inch Neil, so you can see how that can happen. Uh, but I, I bought some patch kits and some uh, uh, some like repair kits for for if this thing gets damaged. But I think it has a tarp in here. We can okay. use it as a cover. It's Hang so on. Fucking hot. Let me see. Uh, so yeah, the repair kit has no tarp in it. Ah shit! I got ripped <laughs> off. <laughs> Yes, with your free fucking it's repair fucking kit. Uh, well, we're just going to have to manage for a minute. I'm sure we uh, are. Okay. Yeah. So what are you doing? We're traveling to Takata. And go, yeah. I'm just, I'm just panicking and breathing. I'm overheating. I can't really do anything at the moment because it's just so hot. Okay. Hey, buddy up there. Do you see anything that has like shade or like uh, 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 water or something up in the sky? Or just does it? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, do I see anything of value in the distance? Roll since perception. Hey, first perception check. It took a while longer than I thought it was going to. Oh, I have advantage on perception checks because I am vulture. Yep. All right, so that's not better than a 15, but that's fine. Uh, so it's an 18 on my perception. So you're just looking, what are you looking for? Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's like anything like visible in the distance right now, since we've. I, I, I'm not sure how long we've been traveling, but you, you literally j- are s- this is still just, just in front. Yeah, you guys haven't really had like set a course yet. I'm just looking right now okay. to see if there's anything of value, any any structures, anything that I can you know perceive to be like in the distance. Okay, yeah. So from where you guys are, um, you're just outside of the dome. Um, and really all you can see is this giant chasm kind of to the north of you, um, next to what looks like the, uh, like the very barely uncovered remains of some kind of city. Um, it's just, there's a lot of sand. Uh, there is this very weird and creepy looking like jackal statue coming out from just outside the, uh, the dome. Um, and then there's like a pit somewhere near it but that's really all you can see at this point so i personally can see the ruins yes you can um okay so uh i kind of relay the message i kind of swoop down a little bit and i'm like there's some ruins uh up you know a little uh northwest of us right now uh more towards the north that we're traveling uh but we're gonna have to bypass that uh and there's what looks like a you know the ruins of a a giant like jackal monolith. Um, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go northeast a bit and then kind of head north more. So uh, I'll I'll make sure we're on the right path. Just do what you can. I just it's so hot. How do people do this? <laughs> All right, fine. Hold on. I'm gonna use minor mirror mirror illusion again. Can I do that? And make minor an, illusion. Minor illusion. And make an umbrella. We can't touch it, but would that still make shade? Mm-mm. Dang. It would not. Dang. It's, it's spectral, so it light Ugh, passes you're through spectral. it. spectral. Sorry, bud. Ah, well, yeah, I'm your own kid. <laughs> I like the creativity, though. Do you want to turn back and get, like, an umbrella no, or something? No, I'm, I'm good. Just, maybe I just need to take a little nap. I think I'm just uh, gonna uh, just take a little snooze. Uh, Naomi, go ahead and roll constitution for me. There's room in the back. Eight. Eight. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, you are, you're, you are immediately feeling the effects of just being in the oppressive desert. Um, you just start, you start to feel like you're not as, like, you don't have your senses about you so much. Um, so, uh, the way this is gonna work is desert travel's absolutely fucking dangerous, and you guys need to make sure that you are keeping track of, like, your hydration, um, and just your overall energy levels, because it's going to sap the fuck out of you. So, Naomi, while you are in whatever condition you're in now, um, you are gonna take disadvantage on your perception. Okay. Because you're just, like, you're... I'm just out of it? You're out of it. You are so, like, foreign to this kind mm-hmm. of sweltering heat that yeah. 
it's just it's oppressive and you yeah. can't focus so mm-hmm. um let's uh let's make our way to that weird jackal statue real quick it could be something over there okay unless you want to go back in no real quick i don't just, just some just water. keep going we gotta go we gotta go okay you f- you're- you guys pissed off that other that guy. So. That's different. He's not around right now. It's fine. Cool. <laughs> um, I, I, I swoop down, uh, and I'm just like, uh, let me know when you can't take it anymore. Okay. Can you, can, can just you just, go- like, put a wing over her since you're a vulture and give her some shade? That's not how that works. I mean, it could if you tried. I, no. Do no. you? I am small bird. <laughs> Vultures are big. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, about. I'm, I'm. In comparison to other stuff, though. I'm not that big. I'm not. I'm not big oh, enough buddy. to make a bunch We're of. We're all turning into Mike. I'm not that big. <laughs> I know, right? Stop. <laughs> Step. <laughs> all right. Well, let's let's just go. Let's go quickly. Let's quickly. Keep, we we literally just left. So like, I got some ways to help everyone as soon as it gets to a, a bad point. So like, I can help when when it, when it's necessary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you need some water, let me know. Oh yeah, absolutely. Why didn't you say that initially? Well, I don't have just, any water. We, we literally just left. Yeah. So like. <laughs> It's so hot. I'm usually in the shade under like the buildings and stuff. So let's circle back real quick. Get some more supplies. I, can, I just want water. Just give me some we, water. We don't need to circle back. I can help. But like, <laughs> we just left. Damn it! <laughs> I know, me. right? Like, let's keep going. Just give me some water, please. All right, all right. So I, uh, I use my shape water, nice. um, can trip. And uh, basically, I can cause water to form into simple shapes. Uh, so you have to have water first. Uh, so choose an area of water. That, yeah, I can actually. I, I would have to. We'd have to find like a cactus or something. Okay. What about sweat? Gross. But oh, water, man. If we're going the fucking dune route, I guess. <laughs> uh, the spice cherry. <laughs> uh, uh, let me let me say this. I if if I see a cactus while I'm while we're on the way, I, I can make. You know, some water for us. Sounds good. But you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. You know, That's buck fine. up. I'll, I'll do. I'm not fancy like you, magic folk. Fancy. We've been out for five minutes. <laughs> Speaking of, what are you guys doing? We're going to the jackal statue. Everyone good with that? Yep. Uh, as he as he recommends that, uh, I want to diverge my path from the wagon and kind of. Cross, start trying to cross over the crater a bit to see the ruins. Gotcha. Okay, so we'll deal with that in just a sec. Yep. Um, so you guys take the wagon, and you head over to the, the strange jackal statue that's kind of just out front of this giant black dome. Um, and as, as you get closer, you, can, you kind of start to feel yourselves get like a little bit more empowered, or at least start to. Um, it starts fading, but you get, yeah, you guys are or at the jackal statue, looking up at its weird fucking face. This thing looked a little cooler uh, from far away. It's a little fucking creepy, yeah, isn't it's a, it? Yeah, it's a little intimidating. <sighs> I'm gonna touch it. Okay. okay. Are you, you're touching it? Mm. All right. So as you touch it, you you feel like this jolt. Like, almost like you get electrocuted. Um, but after the small jolt up front is done, you, you just you feel your body temperature kind of like drop like 10 degrees and you just you just feel so much fucking better this is fucking amazing is it cold come touch this oh my god i'm gonna gonna come touch i'm just gonna put my whole body just touch this fucking up on this jackal statue whole body your whole body yeah so as you do that you (laughs) are now like freezing your ass off like you are just so fucking cold (laughs) Keep in mind, it's like 120 out yeah. right now, and you're just, Woo. you are it, you are cold. Woo! Very okay. cold. Okay. That is too cold. <laughs> but you do now have normal rolls okay. for perception. So, cool. Yeah. Um, and so, like, as you guys touch this, you, you feel this energy enter your body, and uh, both of you roll perception for me. Perception. First grade. <laughs> God damn it. 20. Not a natural 20. Dirty 20? A dirty 20. Also a dirty 20. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, so as this energy kind of like enters your body and you, you start to feel a little bit cooler, uh, you swear you can see like these black shiny eyes that are at the, in its fucking head that kind of glow this blue for a second and then fade back out. And as soon as it's done, you guys are feeling way cooler. Did you, did you see that? I, I feel so cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like goddamn Bruce Springsteen over here. Who? You know, the cool, the boss, the cool guy. <laughs> Um, so okay. as, as you guys are kind of, like, enjoying your newfound, uh, cooling sensation, uh, Doug, so you're, you are, uh, sorry, Char, you are cruising over this little chasm, um, and you, you kind of get to the point where you're starting to see the, the above ground portion of the ruins of this city. Um, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, I am, I am basically looking for anything that might... Uh, proc a memory, a okay, maybe something that I could recognize through you know the people that I've been traveling with uh, prior to being uh, in Blastioto. Pretty much just looking for any kind of anything that might say you need to you need to come and check this out. Okay, roll investigation. That is a nat twenty. Damn! Fucking hell, really? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> God, that sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, you. Uh, so you're cruising over it, and you see kind of this like obelisk-looking thing uh, towards the center of it. And for whatever reason, like something in your memory just kind of gets jogged, and you you start diving down towards it, and as you get a little bit closer. You see this like leather leather wrapped like pile of parchments. Like it's like double, triple wrapped, like super protected. And it's got the symbol of it's got this eye and it's got like two circles around it with a bunch of these points on it. Um and it's it's just kinda sitting there. Uh yeah, no, I'd I'd definitely swoop down and probably come out of my, my vulture form for okay. a moment, uh to just put it pick it up. I would say bag. if you don't want to fucking waste your wild shape, you could literally just grab it in your talons. Okay, that that'll if you do want that, to do yeah. that, yeah. Um, so as you as you do grab it, uh, you you just you kind of feel you feel a little weird, and you're flying off with it, and this weird feeling gets more and more intense until you look back down at the book, and one by one, these like leather bound straps are starting to like come undone a little bit. Um, it's almost as if like something in, in wh- whatever is with you is causing this thing to react and you're not exactly sure why. And it's a very weird feeling that you've never f- think like a uh, static, like okay. static feeling yeah, throughout yeah. your body. Nope. It's kind of like that. Um, it's not exactly great. It's brand new, but as you see these things kind of like start to unlatch, unlatch, um, you'll notice that as you kind of get back to the wagon, it's pretty much completely open and you're able to like kind of flip through it. Okay. Um. So I don't know if I can do this while I'm flying per se, but like, I I would like to flip through it and start reading what I can while I'm. So are you are you meeting up with the rest of your party first? Oh yeah, absolutely. Hey, I man, will uh... touch this rock. <laughs> touch this fucking rock. This shit's great. Yeah, it feels I just, amazing. I just land on it, just like straight up, like. Yeah. So same shit. You uh, you you feel like this wave of cold like come over your body, and you're so much better. A little chilly. Yeah. I just like immediately it get off of it. it. I'm like, yeah. that's that's too cold. <laughs> yeah. I would say, especially in vulture <laughs> form, you're like, ooh, I don't know if I fucking like. Yeah. That. I'm not a big fan of that. But I imagine that's fine. birds have lower body temperature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like ah, ooh ah. Um. Yeah. You guys are all back together now. So what well, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm gonna take some of this rock to go. Uh, can, can I we use... like tra- chip away at it? Yeah, can so I just have like how are you how are you doing? I that? have a I have some daggers. I could just okay, and I'm just gonna use my fucking eldritch blast and just write out like a piece of it. Just psh. okay. Oh, so well... ro- you ro- both of you roll an attack. Yeah, a ten, so fifteen. Okay, you got eighteen and eight. Yes. Um. So, Eily, your daggers they actually they don't seem to actually make it to the statue. Um. It's almost like they slow down and kind of stop as they approach. Uh, Neil, however, as you fire off this Eldritch Blast, it um, it hits the center of it, and it, it blasts a couple of pieces off of the uh, the center of it. Um, but as it, as it falls to the ground and it like hits the sand, it kind of like crumbles and looks like it almost melds into the sand. It's very strange. Doug, I want you to roll an Arcana check. Thank you. Yep. I just want my rock. Uh, that's an eleven. Okay, yeah, you uh, 
You notice something a little strange about it, but you can't quite put your fucking finger on it. Probably the fact that it turned to sand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something I'm not familiar with yet, and I, I kind of, like, I'm, like, puzzled as hell. I'm just like, how the fuck? I wish we could pick this up out of the ground and take it with us, because, wow, it, it, I am cool, and I'm like, it cooled me down so well. Yeah. Uh, well. It, it's fine. What are you gonna do, am I right? I'm gonna hug it again. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> hug it? I saw you fly into the hole. Oh, that. How's that? <laughs> what uh, a fucking sentence. I was just looking for anything useful over there and. Did find I, anything? It's just a bunch of ruins. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Alright, well. Where yeah. do you guys want to go next? What's the rest of this? Is it is it just the monolith? I'm sorry, did you describe anything else? It, just you guys have pretty much explored everything that I, I told you well, about. Okay. Uh, what are you guys thinking now? Do you want to just keep charging along? Yeah, I'll yeah. Uh, I'll go up ahead a little bit and just see what's up, and we can keep going north. Keep us updated if you find any cactus or anything like that. Still, good. I feel very ice cold, so maybe this will last a little longer. Um... Yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, let's get it a go. Okay. Uh, as soon yeah, as soon as I see the next cactus I see, I'll uh, I'll make sure to fill our canteens. All right, cool. tight. Okay. Have you seen a cactus yet, like at all? There, no. So far, there's nothing right outside. Well, just in general, like in this hole. Um, that's I don't know. <laughs> Have you seen cactus? I I have no idea. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was just yes, like yes, I was just ha- asking a question. Yeah. Uh, it's a little it's a little further up, but uh, we'll we'll be hitting cactus territory pretty soon. Okay. You know, I, Doug, make a fucking nature check. I can check on nature. Uh, that's a twenty-two or twenty-two, yeah. So yeah, with that, you would you would know like where to find it. You know that there are cactus around. There's aloe vera plants around. There's a, there's like there's a whole bunch of like it's good for desert foliage that you could use to help with hydration if mm-hmm. you absolutely needed to. Okay. So if if you wanted to keep a lookout for that, feel free. Absolutely. Okay. Um, is everybody? Ready? Where? Where are you going? We're making our way to Takata or whatever you yeah. say. How are you doing that? Wagon by wagon. <laughs> okay. Which? Where are you going? Straight north. You're fucking killing me right now. <laughs> so we need to tra- whatever. We need to travel northeast for a little while. Let's go northeast. Okay. Yeah. So, you guys with a uh, Castrati in front leading the pack, pulling this whole wagon. Um, you guys start heading north. And uh, you, you're you're at it for a while. Uh, all of you roll a perception check. It's been like, I'd say three, maybe four hours. Suspiciously long. Oh god, a five or no seven? Okay. Fourteen. Uh, twenty-one. Mm-hmm. So Eile and Char, you guys notice, um, kind of like at the top of like one of these dune crests, there's what looks like to be a uh, like a caravan of some sort. Um, heading almost the same direction that you guys are, um, but they, you guys notice them, they kind of crest the hill, and they're headed north, northeast-ish. Uh, so I'll, 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 you know, do a little, a swoop down, and I, I'm gonna let them know, hey, uh, there's another caravan heading about the same direction we are, we're probably gonna be ca- crossing paths here pretty shortly, mm-hmm. just so you guys are aware. A caravan? Yeah. Could you, uh, you're a bird, man. Can you, uh, just go... Go scope them out real quick, see how many there are, and if they got weapons. Yeah, if you want me to scout it out, I, I will. I think that's a good idea just to be safe. All right, cool. Squaw! <laughs> <laughs> oh, just for for rules, uh, it's it's been a couple hours, so we're going to consider this to be, like, your second wild shape. Okay, perfect. It, it yeah, usually it's lasts like, like an, an hour. hour, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you, you kind of head over there, you fly over, and you scout it out. Roll perception for me. Uh, that one is a 17. Okay. Uh, yeah. You so you see this caravan? It looks like there's about nine or ten people um, in this small wagon with not many supplies. It doesn't look like they're carrying a whole lot, um, but they're definitely they're they're making a very slow and steady pace uh, northeast ish. Can I tell like what kind of peoples they are? Like what uh, race? yeah, it's it's really it's kind of all over the place. Um, there's some dragonborn there. Uh, you see one tabaxi. Um, and the rest are kind of a, a conglomeration of like halflings and humans. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna glide above them for a little bit. Okay. Just to kind of maybe like hear what they're talking about. Okay. Uh, roll a perception one more time. Okay. Ten. Okay, with a ten, um, you can't really like gauge some of the conversation. You do notice that out of everybody there, there's uh, there's a 
nine people are wearing like these really unfortunate clothes. Like they're they're <laughs> super they're like rags more or less. And then there's one person who is wearing just the normal like desert traveling gear. Um and he is strapped with a scimitar. Uh, as well as what you can kind of make out to be a, maybe a dagger in his belt. Um, and But he's wearing... The, the thing that really catches your eye is, like, this this red and black uh, symbol. It looks almost like a cross. Um, but at the very top, there's this, like, little little triangle. Like a point. Okay. Do you hear them mumbling and they're like, That vulture up there. They're delicious. <laughs> Shoot it down. <laughs> Shoot it down. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take off and go back to the wagon, and uh, I'm assuming by the time I get back to the wagon, uh, I'm gonna have to get out of my wild form. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually switch back into my form and sit on the wagon with you guys when I get back. Hey, what's up, buddy? Not much, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what's the matter, you? Hey. <laughs> uh, so I was uh, doing a little recon, uh, trying not to be too close. Um, but this, uh, this other convoy that I saw, right, uh, didn't get a whole lot of information on them. They're not really talking about a whole lot as far as I could hear. Uh, we do have what look to be very tattered, uh, passengers, uh, very tattered robes, uh, clothes, etc. But, uh, one of them had kind of the normal, uh, desert dwelling, uh, garbs on, but I saw a weird like symbol on them maybe like a sigil of sorts that might be um, our guy we're looking for I, I don't know for sure but he had a it was like a cross with like a triangle at the top so uh mm. <clears throat> did they look armed besides that guy uh that guy had a, sh a scimitar um i, I didn't see scimitar. anyone else with weapons though um you could say that my perception was off <laughs> Not to meta. Did I just hear a drum? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Mike. We didn't have to say it, but... <laughs> uh, okay, well, if we're going to cross paths with them, uh, at least we kind of know what we're in for. Just, uh, just you know, be 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 ready for whatever is going to happen. Okay. Not saying they're bad, but, you know. I mean, they might be. They're, they're people. So. Yeah, people hmm. do suck. <laughs> People are, you know. They, they do be sucking. <laughs> <laughs> I said the last thing. <laughs> they, do be, they do be sucking. All right, well, uh, let's just keep going until we meet up with them. And yeah. pull from them. Yeah, so I, I need to, I'm, I, I can't go back into my, uh, like, vulture form for a while, so uh, we'll have to just be kind of ready for whatever happens. So let's uh, let's keep moving forward, and we'll we'll go from there. Sounds good. So what what is the plan? We just told you we're gonna keep you're, going. You're moving forward. forward we're yes. Keep yes on keeping absolutely. On. So you're going to Takata. Yes. Yes. We're going to yep. Takata, and if we bump into these guys, we bump into them. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you, you guys keep going, um, and as you kind of like crest this this sand dune, uh, everyone roll perception. Nineteen. Seven. I'm doing great. Solid. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. 19 plus. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you two, not not so much Neil. Um, you guys kind of notice uh, trailing behind this caravan um, off in the distance, you see, like, these little, little like, t bits of sand that are just being kicked up into the air in a like, pretty rapid pace mm -hmm. and over a pretty large area. And it is, it's slowly kind of like serpentining back and forth but it is absolutely closing in on this caravan whatever this sand is what, what's going on <laughs> what are y'all looking what are y'all <laughs> uh, how are y'all looking at well we definitely need to be <laughs> on the lookout right now <laughs> um okay <laughs> So we're going to keep pushing forward, and I say this because uh, we're not concerned with whatever that is that's following them. So let's keep pushing forward. If things get out of control, we can go from there. There's something I agree. following them? <laughs> it's it like sucks a, it it just, Let's just keep going. Oh, well, wait, you said that there's a guy with a symbol on them, on him, right? Well, well, if yeah, that's our guy, we got to protect him. We got to get him back. The guy's set alive, and I want that sword. Cool. But also sand thing 
not my problem, to be quite honest with you. But if it eats our, our guy with the symbol, then it's our problem. Yeah, but we're out of that place. Like, we can go wherever we want now. We're not stuck in <laughs> we're that not fucking trapped. town. Yeah, but I need to know more about my buddy Reznor. The, is that Who? our problem, though? It, I mean, we're a team, aren't we? We're a team, I mean, but I'm telling... I, I, yeah, but... <laughs> I gave you 50 gold, and <laughs> this is how you repay me. Majority rules. <laughs> uh, you did what? I gave you 50 gold. I don't remember that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Doug, roll a, roll a deception check. <laughs> Just roll deception, I guess. And Mike, roll insight. You guys are contesting. Um, insight? Yep. Is that going to be under at skills? It's probably under charisma, so if you roll a... A D20. Oh, it's plus two, okay. 17. 17. <sighs> it's a stalemate. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what are what are your, both of your charisma modifiers? I think insight is wisdom. Plus three. Oh, you're right. What's your wisdom, and what is... Are they both wisdom? Wisdom is plus two. Mine's plus three. Oh, okay. So it goes to you, then. Okay. So yeah, no, you you uh, you think you know the truth is happening here? <laughs> I guess I must have just <laughs> created a hundred coin <coughs> using my illusion before. I don't know. I guess I'm just remembering it wrong. Hey, you never know. We maybe, don't need maybe, to maybe. manipulate anything here. But just, <coughs> maybe, let's just keep going. We're all just, right, fine, fine. We fucking maybe, keep going. Maybe but you, maybe maybe you'll come breath. across a, a, a good amount of money at some point. Mm. We'll we'll help you out. Don't worry. I bet you will. Mm -hmm. He's all really right. just concerned about this Resnor guy. I I, he's yeah. I, I need to find my employee. Do you owe him something? No, he's my employee. Oh, so he owes you something? Well, he's my, my best salesman. I just want him back. Hey, is he uh does is he good with the uh the magics and the things and stuff? Uh if you consider uh the gift of gab magical then yeah. <laughs> sure what about is. this little like thing that you got that's following you around this little Maserati dude? Castrati. <laughs> Maserati. I love Castrami. Castrati. He's good. He's good, but he's no he's salesman. The, he's not your salesman. No, no, he's more of like a financial aid advisor kind of. Okay. He's a finance manager for anything. <laughs> okay. He's doing a lot for you, so you should be yeah, nice to him. I, get, I, I, pay, I pay him good. I okay. Him good. Everybody roll perception! <laughs> what a conversation. 19. 21. 21? Uh, that is a 17. Okay, so all three of you, um, so you guys get over to the top of this next dune, and you see very clearly this caravan that uh, Char was telling you guys about. Um, it contains a bunch of people, not a lot of supplies, and what looks to be one kind of caravan leader. And you see this, this like, sand being kicked up behind them. And it's al almost as if, like, they lock on target. This, this sand stops for a second, and it gets way more violent. And as it does, you see everybody in this party kind of turn and look. And out of fucking nowhere, this giant like brownish red creature shoots out of the sand and out of everybody there uh, you see one person kind of try to like put up and fight this thing that's coming at them and almost as if by like the grace of God you see this wall of sand shoot the fuck up right before they get eaten and it crashes into it narrowly missing everybody in this caravan and they start taking off again and you see the sand start kick, kicking up again, and it kind of like turn it doubles back to like get a, a better vantage point, I guess. And it's not sure what happened, but it it, it starts going away, and it turns around, and it's going back for them. Uh, that's kind of what you're seeing. Do I notice who it is that casts the perception? Symbol? Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> nine. Uh, with a nine, the only thing you can tell is that it it was not. Like the pack leader, it was one of the the tattered, ragged, uh, dressed people that stepped out of line and just literally, <clears throat> you, you like kind of see her like clap and like throw her hands down in the sand, and this fucking wall shoots up. With this, uh, with this perception, do I see? D do I notice the thing noticing us? The uh, the the whatever creature. Yeah. I uh, know it, it looks pretty one-track minded um, from what you can gather with 
just looking at how it's acting, um, you don't think it's noticed you, or it's ignoring you in lieu of just more people. Okay. Okay. One of the two things. What did it? What did this creature look like? Just a giant, big red thing. Just, yeah. So from what you you saw, uh, honestly, you guys would probably know at this point. This looked just like one of the fucking sandworms that's just in the area. It's one of those things that. It's it's very sensitive to vibrations on the surface, and it's it's one of the things tremors, graboids, if you it's will, yeah, more or less. Okay, well, <clears throat> let's avoid that. <laughs> uh, I don't really like me the worms too much. Uh, no, they're a little spooky. Uh, not so much spooky, just a pain in the ass to kill. A little spooky. Uh, I think they're spooky. Validate my opinion. Uh, spooky, Christ, <laughs> <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> Creatures are just what are there. Like you can't, you can't be afraid of them. All right, it's so a little hard for me. You know, I'm just, just a little lowly human. I don't know a lot of, you know, like creatures and stuff. It freaks me out a little should bit. Should we just kind of circle around these guys and just ignore them? Because I don't want to get in trouble with that there. They... <laughs> Worm, Woim. I hate Woims. I just say. <laughs> so I vote we just kind of circle around. That's the problem, like you were saying before. I ain't fucking with no Woim. Oh, now you agree. Yeah, because I didn't know it was a fucking one before. I don't, I don't uh -uh. So, as you guys kind of, like, deliberate on what to do here, um, this this worm has turned around and is oh, making God. second pass, and you see the wall of sand go up again this time, but it's almost like it doesn't matter. This worm crashes through this giant wall of sand, and literally, in one giant bite, just devours his whole party and drags everybody underneath the sand and now you guys see nothing no sand getting kicked up no no anything you just see like where they were um maybe some like tattered robes and stuff but aside from that they're just fucking gone well cool, 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 cool. guess it's All safe right. to say that things probably full now uh <laughs> Uh, we, we should hightail we, it out of here probably. Yeah. yeah we need to go before this thing realizes yeah, we, Kastrata, that yeah. we're here yeah I agree full gallop Lizard. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. So you're, uh, you're whipping Castrati into well, shape. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go. We gotta uh, get out of here, man. Everybody make a stealth check. Stealth. Oh. Oof. 22. <laughs> Four. <laughs> it's a negative one. That's a no good. That's a seven. <laughs> Guys. So I'm just over here like, what's the matter, you? <laughs> 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 So, with those rolls, um, <laughs> I'm, oh man, I'm so sorry, guys. Eileen, you, you kind of pick up on what's happening here, and you think to yourself, okay, we have to, we have to travel a bit quieter, and just make less noise, and that seems impossible considering you're trudging through sand, but you start taking more careful steps, and you look behind you. And you see the other two party members, both Shar and Neil, are just fucking, like, stomping through the desert. And you see this happen, and you whip your head around, and you see this pile of sand getting kicked up all over the place, kind of, like, stop. And then it starts moving towards you. Ah, crap. What the fuck are you guys doing? Shut up. There's something fu What? <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. What's following us? I don't know. The sand's getting... Shh, 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 shh. The sand was... Shh, shh, shh. So what, what are you, what, currently, what are all three of you doing? Uh, I'm just yelling at them to shut up. Do I, do I notice this sandworm coming no. towards us? No. Just, just. Why? Don't. What's up? What's just, wrong? If you quietly look behind you, you can see what's happening. Shut up! So as, as, <laughs> as you look over your shoulder quietly, <laughs> um, you do end up seeing the, uh, the same pattern of sand getting kicked up into the air that happened right before this caravan was dragged below the uh, the desert. Ah, shit! Castrati, go! Shut it's, the it's, fuck it's heading up. towards you. I, I I whip the reins and get Castrati to go. And you get yeah. quiet about it. Yeah. Apparently he can take it. Uh, yeah, you, you whip him into shape, and it's almost like he gets a second wind. All of you kind of, like, get jerked back as the fucking wagon you're in just takes off. And as this happens, you notice this this sandy, like, this worm that's underneath the sand kind of lock in. Almost as if as soon as you guys started moving 
incredibly quickly, it's like, oh, okay, I can kind of see where you are. And it starts just following you. Um, uh, this is quite the pickle. Mm-hmm. What, are, uh, what are you doing? Am I able to speak with animals at... If that's where your well, spell is, right? Beast, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast that on myself so I kind of like do this like weird like hand movement and like go into like this like weird trance uh basically while we're fucking hightailing it. Uh so that I can try and hone in on it and speak with it. Okay. Um that just happens, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. There's no I just, have to, I just have to concentrate. I, I can do it for ten minutes. Okay, so so yeah, you uh <laughs> as this is these two are freaking out like freaking the fuck out about this Jesus fuck Christ and they kind of they look over <laughs> at you and you like go into like this super zen trance and they're they're very confused as to why you're so calm what and the, what is he ain't no fucking monk what do you do what the fuck is this this is you're staring off into space you need to shut the fuck up and your your eyes kind of just all of a sudden go fucking white and your vision in front of you kind of fades as you start hearing just this this noise, like this this very hollow, uh, echoey, like deep roar, and you can't quite make sense of it. But the, the thing you can feel is is pain. It's not like fear. It's not anger. Like pain is the thing that comes through the most. So I'm gonna try and you know link with it and be like, you know, we are we are not your enemies. How can we help you? Like, I, I can sense that you're in a great deal of pain right now. Like, what do you need? Okay. Um, after you say that, you like you feel like the tone of the whole thing change. Uh, both of you roll perception. I need spice. <laughs> <laughs> he who controls the spice. Five. Okay. Perception. Uh, eight. Eight total? Yep. Okay, yeah, you guys are kind of just oblivious to what's happening here. This fucking guy's freaking me out. Just, uh, you're... Just, you, you, yeah, you have, you have no idea what's happening with, with Char over here. Um, so as you kind of think these thoughts of, like, helpful, like, we're here to help, like, what what's happening? Um, you get this very distinct, almost like it's saying the word trapped, more or less, but it, you can't quite pinpoint, like, what it means. Because, I mean, you're not, you, you don't know, the, like, how these worms communicate, how they feel, etc. But you, you, you very clearly get this emotion of trapped um and then the sand starts get stops getting kicked up it's almost like it stops a little bit um and you get this overwhelming feeling of fear now coming from this thing um it's so uh, to give you an idea of where you're at time wise it's been about three to four minutes okay and this thing it's hard to communicate with this thing because it's so vastly different <clears throat> uh so i once I once I get that feeling, I'm gonna basically immediately be like, uh, like in this like kind of weird trance. I, I tell uh, Neil, I'm just like, stop, stop the wagon, and I try to communicate with it and say, C show yourself to me. Why the fuck am I stopping the wagon? Did you not see the giant worm fucking chasing us back there? I'm not stopping this All wagon. All I say is stop the wagon. Are you talking I'm... to to Shar? Yes. yes. Uh, he can't hear you. Well, he told. He said he told me to stop the correct. Wagon. Oh, yeah. He does not receive any information you're giving back. Oh, though. all what? you hear from me is stop the fucking wagon. Stop the wagon. Why the fuck what? would I stop the wagon? He, no response comes back as like the, the the whites of his eyes kind of are glazing the fuck over. Um, you're yelling like, why should we stop the wagon? Why should we stop the wagon? But he just is not responsible. I'm not stopping this fucking wagon, well, dude. I don't. He keeps saying it. There's there's something clearly going on. He might know more than we do. The fucking worm just ate a bunch of fucking people. He wants me to stop the fucking wagon? Maybe you should put some trust in him. Trust okay. him? Then, then don't do it. It's fine. We'll just keep going. I don't like that terse tone that you just <laughs> had. <laughs> I don't Are like the guys... way you've been, like, just you're just dismissing. It's uh, all about you. It's uh, been all about you this whole time. I stopped. Gotta find the... Reznor. <laughs> stop in the... You are an asshole. <laughs> Love I'm the asshole. asshole. I think it might be you, buddy. How? Uh, uh, All right. So you're uh, stopping. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the, the, I get eaten. I'm killing you. The wagon comes to a halt, and you two are seeing this like th these these sandy kickups keep a little bit closer. They've slowed down a bit, but they're definitely still it's still coming towards you guys. Okay. So you have gotten this this 
this feeling of it's listening, like it's listening mm -hmm. to you, mm -hmm. and it's it's you're building kind of like a trust with whatever this is because you're 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 understanding what it, what it needs. Um, at this point, the only thing that you've gotten though is like pain and fear. Um, you've kind of calmed it. What do you? What's what's next? I would say. Has it come up and shown itself to me? It has not. Okay. It's still it's still in the ground. Uh, so as soon as I can, I feel a stop. I I get off of the wagon, and I kind of just like put my hand on the ground and like start kind of like, like roll Arcana for me, please. Okay. Like, come here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that's going to be a. 17. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, so you hop off, and um, as you put your hands on the fucking desert floor, you, you, can, you can feel... So what you normally feel is, like, this flow of just natural energy, and you can kind of, like, differentiate between the different types of nature that are happening underneath your fingertips. You can't really feel that here. All you can feel is this aether flux energy. And it's almost like it's completely taken over this area that you're in. And as uh, roll or kind of one more time for me. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're not super well versed in in what happens when the art ar like the arcane flow is changed. Uh, but you do know every time this has happened, where you can only feel this aether flux, which you are so familiar with. Um, something either very, very good and very, very, like, peaceful is about to come out of something like this, or something very, very bad is going to happen. There is no gray area where you can kind of feel this thing, like, you know, stopping stalking and, like, or if it does stop stalking you, something else is, something else big is going to happen if nothing happens here. Okay. Okay. That's kind of the vibe you get from from where you are. Um, so pretty much what I I'd be I'm trying to do right now is to just get it to come up to the surface to like face me. Okay. Uh, roll persuasion, but with advantage. Uh, that's gonna be a seventeen. Okay. So with uh with your understanding of nature and like kind of how everything works, you are definitely able to like kind of calm this thing down. You feel its energy just kind of dropping and getting more more tepid, and eventually, all of you see this this huge like crest pop up from from underneath the sand, and it is a it's a fucking massive dune worm, and it's maybe. 20 to 30 feet from you guys at this point. Um, again, you two don't know exactly what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do you what do you guys do? <laughs> <laughs> I panic. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I'm getting ready to fire off a fucking Eldritch Blast. Okay. I think I'm a little frazzled by what's going on. I don't think that I'm like ready to just like Okay. I feel like I'm just a little. Shar, you are kind of awestruck by just the sheer fuck. You you oh. haven't really seen one of these, especially one this big. Literally, the first thing I do, like as soon as it pops up, is I just like walk up to it, and I just like put my hands and my head like up against its head, mm -hmm. and I just like, for lack of a better word, I just vibe with it. Hell yeah, man! We all vibe in here. I just want it to like feel my energy as roll to let it know. Roll Arcana. One roll time. love. <laughs> yeah, roll for love. Roll for sex. Oh, anyway. you got a zero? <laughs> huh. Anyway, I started blasting. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's a like... 16. 16? Okay. Um, so you kind of start communing with this thing. You've, you've got both your hands on it, you've got this super strong connection with it, and. Again, like the some of it's kind of lost in translation, um, but like the just the the overall feeling you get is is the this fear is back, um, but you also get like a like a sense of life, other than the worm coming from the worm. So knowing that I don't have much more time to communicate with the worm, um, 
I just give it some very simple, uh, like, energies, basically saying, we're not here to hurt you, we're your friends, uh, but I can sense that you have some, some kind of life inside of you, and we need it back. And, okay, when you say that, you get, like, this, this kind of sad feeling, um, but instead of, like, just acquiescing, you feel, like, this, like, agreeance. But it then, like, sinks below the sand, and it starts turning away. And it just starts leaving. More or less. So, as as that happens, I come out of my, like, trance, mm-hmm. per se. What the fuck did you just do? That was insane. I was about to blast it. <laughs> uh, I say I'm about nothing, and I'm upset. Does I'm every, are, you, upset. are you okay? What's wrong, buddy? What got you down? Uh, talk, talk to your friend here. Oh, Neil is a is an ear, ear to listen. <laughs> Just a big ear. A, a, big full, ear. a full nine inches of him. <laughs> I don't say anything. I just put my hood up, and you can see me just kind of like flipping through these pages of something. Okay, well, if you need anything, let us know. Like we're here for you, bud. And I just buried so, buried uh, in your right. in your work. So how about no. that worm? Okay. Yeah, he, well, yeah. So, 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 from what you guys can see, <laughs> the fuck was uh, happening? This worm kind of surfaced, and then it kind of looked at Char, and turned around and left. So it, that's pretty much all you know at this point. Did you just save us from that? Yeah. Thank you. It Sand seemed like it are... took a lot out of you, but I, we really, I really appreciate. It. I don't know about this asshole over here, but I do. I just like. <laughs> Need to take a nap or something. I'm gonna read. I'll be in the back of the wagon. That sounds good. If you need anything, just holler at old Neely. And okay. I... <laughs> <laughs> Ever the support shoulder. I love it. <laughs> I know I may be some scuzzy used wagon dealer, but I, I'm oh mortal. God. I'm I'm mortal. I get it. I get sad sometimes too. Well. <laughs> Let's uh, let's just keep making our way. Keep trudging along as towards fucking. So, are you kind of like receding, like just kind of? I would understand why. Yeah, okay. I'm. I'm very much so not wanting to people anymore. I just want to know how to go from here. Um. Okay. So after this worm kind of departs, uh, you have a very sad Char in the back of your wagon, but is are free to kind of continue the journey if you'd like. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Everybody, roll Constitution. <laughs> why is it doing Ten. that? Seven. <laughs> what the fuck? Is it your thumb? No, your, I don't know. Is I, your phone too small? Yeah, <laughs> I have a bad thumb. Constitution roll. A nine, uh, eight. I feel like I'm overheating again. <laughs> Prostitution roll. All right. So with uh with those rolls, um, Char, you uh you're feeling a little tired. That's honestly the extent of it, though. You're very hot, you're sweating a fuckload, and you can tell that you're kind of losing some water. Uh, Neil and Eileen, though, Hello. you two feel like you've had the water just sucked out of your body, and you are, you are dragging. Um, you guys know that you need water, and you need water quick, otherwise it's going to turn into a fucking ordeal. Uh, both of you have disadvantage on pretty much most skill Crit. checks. Hey, uh, hey, hey, buddy, I know you're kind of in a, having a time bad back there. Water! We need some water. Uh, you were saying you saw some cactuses around, right? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Well, well, I don't want to burden you, but I mean, yeah, I kind of died. I'm really thirsty. sorry. I'm, I just feel like it was it's drained out of me. Ten. Uh, you don't see any plant life around where you are. Uh, You'll have to wait. Shh. Shit. Is anyone swe- sweating? I could drink somebody's sweat at this uh, point. That, I mean, that'd be salt. You don't want to do that. And well, plus, so is, I it like, is, it just is there like something a, wrong with salt water, Mike? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a little. <laughs> well, okay, well, let's just keep traveling sure. forward. We're going to see what happens. You know, maybe we'll come across a, a cactus or two. Can I take a little, a little snooze? Yeah, that's, I mean, uh, the fucking, uh, uh, Castrati's got this. He's on, like, autopilot. He's a lizard. He don't need Good old, help. good old Pastrami. We yeah, love him. He's a good, <laughs> he's a good right, boy. I'm gonna take a nap. Alright, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just go. gonna, I'm gonna be here. Um, so after this ordeal, it's, it's gonna take a bit, um, but you're kinda on the home stretch, 
And with both Ailey and Neil feeling just fucking terrible. Um, plus, Char is resting in the back. You guys are you're a little out of it. And at one moment, you guys see these this sandy sea of just desolation. And almost like the next minute, you see this like this black tower uh, rising up from from the sand off in the distance. It looks it's a ways away, but it's it's not something you've seen before. So we're in we're in a desert. We're out of it, and we see something. Seems a little like a well. Mirage. I I see something. <laughs> You're asleep. So at this point, it'll just be me. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, yeah. Oh, are you, are you both yeah. sleeping? No, no, she's I'm sleep. sleeping. I'm not. I just was okay. making a mirage I mean, joke. I mean, you don't gotta put that in the episode. I mean, these do. But yeah, so you're you're the one that can, I'm the awake. <clears throat> can see this uh this tower. Yeah, it's a very 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 dark black tower kind of rising out of the sand. Well, that don't look good. Uh, I'm gonna make my way over to that. <laughs> <laughs> just by yourself, huh? Yeah, I mean they they're along for the ride. They okay. don't they don't gotta know. Uh, yeah. So you uh you you guide. Castrati in the direction of this black tower, um, and you get closer and closer, and it, it keeps getting a little bit bigger. Um, so you're, you're about, I would say, like four or five hundred feet away from it. Well, we're gonna go to four or five hundred feet, aren't we? <laughs> Let's you go. head towards it. Yeah. Uh, so you you start heading towards it a little bit slowly. Um, as you get maybe four hundred feet away from it, it's almost like your pace quickens. And you, you don't, you're not trying to sprint towards it, but it's, something is making you get there faster. Oh, right. And you feel that. This is convenient. <clears throat> what, what's, what's going on? Hey man, look at this black tower up here. Isn't that dope? So as you wake up, you feel like this, this <gasps> force kind of like drawing you towards this black tower. Yeah, I do see it. It it's... wants us. <laughs> I, okay, yeah, I mean, let's go. Are you still asleep? Oh yeah, okay. you gotta do what the tower wants you to okay, do. Okay, yeah, you're you're controlling the little dude. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna keep going. Okay. So as uh, you, would as... this be considered a short rest while I'm sleeping, or I would, yes, this okay. is this is a short rest for you. Um, so as you you get closer and closer, you not you you two roll constitution. Constitution. Ten. A dirty twenty. Ten and twenty. Um, so with your dirty 20, you, uh, you kind of start to realize that, like, something that is not your own will is guiding you towards this black tower, and you, you don't like it. Okay. I don't feel like I want, do I really want to go towards this thing, or is it just I mean, I'm, feeling, I, I mean, I do. Yeah, but do you? Yeah. Why? What's the matter, you? I, I feel like I feel like I'm being dragged towards it. Not that I like I really want. I to mean, go. I do feel like we're going quicker. Yeah, yeah. Than before, of, but was I it, mean, I kind of I, I like it, it. Was it was it just fun for you to go fast? Or yeah, okay, I gotta go fast. Yeah. I got the need. Do you think it's <laughs> the do, need do we, for speed? You just take a deep breath for a moment. Think about it for a second. Did you just like did? So you felt like we were just going faster out of nowhere. Yeah. So you guys are about two hundred feet away. Yeah. Okay. And well, we're, we're gonna keep really... going. Might as well. well I'm, we're in right the, here. I'm in the wagon, so we're I guess right I'm here. along Might for the well. ride. Yeah. Maybe there's some water. Doug, roll perception. <laughs> At disadvantage. So just one roll. Like, oh no, you're not in your form anymore. So yeah, disadvantage. Okay. Um, perception. That'd be a five. Okay. Uh, yeah, you kind of get jostled awake by some conversation, but otherwise you just turn over and go back to bed. Yep. Okay, bye. All right. Well, I don't know what the fuck he was mumbling about back there, but okay. Um, all right. So as you guys get closer and closer, you notice your speed picking up pretty much every step. We're getting really fast. Yes. Oh, cool. And uh, you, you guys recognize this as the, the location of where Takata is supposed to be. And there's nothing here. It's just this tower. And you're going quicker and quicker towards it, quicker and quicker. Um, Char, at this point, I I would think that you wake up because this this vehicle is moving incredibly quickly over sand, and you're just getting jostled about in the back. Uh, now that I'm awake, am I like feeling it? Like you, yes, you feel very very powerful for some reason. Okay, Inc like incredibly powerful. Hey, what's up, buddy? How's your neck? 
I can do anything. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're gonna. I think. I feel like I'm gonna vomit. We're going so fast. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta keep going. I'm gonna. Th- I'm gonna throw up. I like legit. Like, am so awake right now that I like crawl up onto the top of the wagon, and I am just like, "Let's go." <laughs> are you just up there like witness me? <laughs> you guys are way too cool about this. I'm on meth. <laughs> <laughs> Ili, Char, and Neil are trying to maintain control as an unknown force begins pulling them towards this mysterious black obelisk. As they approach, an overwhelming feeling of uneasiness takes hold. Unable to escape the pull of this monument, Char explodes into a swarm of wasps and attempts to fly away from the structure. However, the pull magnifies and eventually drags the party to its base. Just as our heroes are about to slam into the side of it, space around them changes. The desert sun disappears, and a wide array of dancing colors and lights replace any sense of normalcy. Finally, Char, Neil, and Ailee see a world shaping around them. Redstone plateaus rise from a black void to meet their bodies. Just before impact, consciousness begins to fade. And as it does, a voice echoes from afar. Oh, good! My entertainment has arrived. <laughs>